Hello, my name is Sergeant Ron Vogel. I'm with the Delaware County Sheriff's Office. I've been in law enforcement approximately 27 years. Seven of those years, I was a school resource officer for school districts within Delaware County. I'm currently assigned as the school resource officer supervisor, uh, where I have 11 resource officers working for me. You know, every year we send over 56 million kids off to school. And we as parents, we worry that our kids are gonna stay safe, that they're not gonna be bullied, that they're not gonna be hurt, and they're gonna be able to come back home to us that night. However, in 2018, the United States witnessed the worst um, mass shooting event in history when it comes to our schools. We had 81 school shooting incidents that occurred and 51 people were killed uh, in 2018. And we as parents, we have an expectation that our kids stay safe. But in a recent poll that I conducted asking parents in Delaware County, are you confident that sufficient security exists at your child's school? Over 50% said uh, they don't feel confident that we can do more uh, in regards to protecting our kids from the school shooter. And if we go back in history to 9-11, um, we immediately put safeguards in place um, so we wouldn't allow uh, someone to hijack the plane again. We put armed United States Marshals on aircrafts. We actually trained and armed our pilots because we realized that TSA can't protect um, passengers 100%. Anything on that plane could be a weapon. And since we armed our pilots and our United States Marshals, we have not had a recording hijacking um, since 9-11. So in the air, we have seen great success um, protecting our aircraft. Why haven't we done anything to protect our schools? We cannot depend on law enforcement to save the day. Uh, if you see this, uh, this statistic up here, um, the average school shooting lasts 12 minutes from beginning to end. Um, one particular stat that I want you to uh, pay attention to is, is the average police response time in this country is 17 minutes. By the time we get there, the school shooting is already over. So today, I want to talk about the importance of arming our teachers. If we arm our teachers, they can have an instantaneous response time. They can keep low predictability, meaning we're not going to know who's, what teachers are carrying. And also, it's going to be effective cost savings for our school districts. Um, Gary Anderson of the Washington Post was quoted in saying, you know, if we armed our teachers, they can engage this shooter much quicker than uh, law enforcement, thereby saving lives. A lot of people argue do teachers have what it takes to stop a, a school shooting event? Um, I did a survey saying, can a teacher, do they have the ability to stop a violent encounter? And most said they do not, but I beg to differ because history has shown numerous examples where teachers have shown heroic behavior to save the kids. For example, we had teacher Jason Seaman who actually tackled a school shooter to the ground in Noblesville West Middle School. Um, in Sandy Hook Elementary, you had school psychologist Mary Sherlock and Principal Don Hawksprung who ran towards the school shooter while shots were being fired. They ended up giving their lives trying to protect the children. We also had Brady Olson from North Thurston High School. Kids ran to him begging for help as the shooter was uh, shooting at kids. Brady ran towards the attacker and tackled him, saving countless lives. We can talk about Virginia Tech, the professor that held the door shut while the shooter was shooting through the door. The professor was screaming at the kids to jump out the window. Teachers have demonstrated heroic behaviors and are more than capable of being able to protect our kids in a violent encounter. Um, I interviewed Sheriff Russ Martin of the Delaware County Sheriff's Office and he also agreed that teachers who want to volunteer to carry, 
as long as they go through their background check and they go through rigorous training are more than capable of carrying a concealed uh, firearm in our schools. We also have safeguards, state-of-the-art holsters uh, that teachers can carry concealed. That means the only way that gun can come out of that holster, you have to hit a certain button and twist the firearm a certain way for it to come out. So it makes it next to impossible for a student to ever try to pull a gun out of the holster from a teacher. So basically no one would know um, what teachers are carrying. And that's huge because a lot of our school shooters are premeditated. That means they already have it in their mind who they're gonna kill first, which is usually an SRO or the armed security. Um, also, a lot of school districts can't afford to put an SRO in each building. In some school districts, they have a 25 minute law enforcement response time. To put a school resource officer in every building in this country would cost 19 billion to 21 billion dollars. However, if we could put armed 20 percent of our teachers, the cost would be 251 million to 1 billion dollars, according to the Washington Post. To date, 31 states have passed laws allowing or given authority to teachers to carry concealed. We got to realize that a passive response will not work in a violent encounter. Um, teachers have demonstrated um, numerous acts of heroism, so they do have it in them to protect the most precious commodity that we have, which is our children. We cannot depend on law enforcement to save our kids. We must encourage teachers to carry. Thank you.